Hi everyone. So a lot of you are going through major transformations in your life, considering your health, relationships, business, the crisis touching a lot of businesses, some businesses closing down. So I have something for you that may today assist you in differentiating considering your preferences. It's a based on the personality test, actually personality of Holland. And according to that, this is not, this is specifically for the career, but in my opinion, it's not only for the career, because if you know your own preferences of your personality, uh, you can also make better choices considering your private life, how you want to spend it with whom, um, and considering everything what's going on right now or continuously going on with the world we just see it more i don't know you decide but i will present you today so sit tight if you know it already you can skip that one but if you don't there are six types of personality that are mostly helpful for people who don't know what to do in life who don't know their mission or they think they know and they try it out and spend a lot of time um, which is good learning process However, you could save yourself time if you know how your personality prefers to work. So these types are never only one sided. It's very rare. It's usually a combination of two or even three of them. And uh, the first one is realistic. So realistic one likes to work with tools, machines, generally avoids social activities like teaching, healing, has good skills in working with electrical drawings, plants, animals. So it has to be very concrete. You have a goal, you do it. The work is done. It can be waitress. Uh, it's done. You go home. You don't care about anything else. You, you also need your space. You work alone. You're not really good with a social if you're a pure type of that. So it has to be very practical, very concrete, uh, straight to the point. Then you have the investigative one, investigative one. Uh, so here you have all the scientists. Uh, they like to um, study, solve math of science problems. They avoid leading, selling. Well, that's not the, the usual thing, but let's focus on what they are into more. They like to understand things. So all the scientific, um, precision, precise scientific and intellectual jobs will be suitable for them. Uh, in this one, I'm actually, I'm drawing this from the careerkey.org. And this is, uh, this is the, uh, the map that I'm using. But in my um, Oracle, I describe exactly how I worked with the coach. And uh, she was also explaining me a lot about how it is important and differentiate one comes with another. So what kind of jobs are related into, uh, into, the, uh, into the certain type of personality? Here's not so much about it, but I will also give you a link that you can see, you can do your tests from another site and uh, see what is your type and how you can use it in your career or in your life. Uh, personal life also with a partner because if you know how you are and your partner are then you can make a better choices or adjustments how your relationship can work another one is artistic and of course here are all the artists drama crafts dance music creative writing um, and they don't like anything that is ordered repetitive activities they need to be free uh, so everything that belongs to art, expressive, independent, original, these are artistic types. There you have a social type and this one is focused basically on people. So you have all the healers, therapists, uh, those people are helping others, teachers, nursing, uh, spreading information, solving social problems. They like to work with people. They are friendly, trustworthy. Um, they providing information, giving help, offering in any kind of help, doctors, so on. Then you have uh, enterprising, and these people are born leaders, very charismatic, like to lead, like to invent, in, um, 
start, initiate something new. They may not always be able to hold it, to maintain it, but they are very good initiator of the event. Uh, so leading people, selling things, selling ideas, value, success, and you find them in politics, leaders, um, occult, also all these cults, uh, church, uh, pastors, charismatics, every, everyone is charismatic here, energetic, ambitious, and also sociable. So this one uh, usually goes with, uh, with the type, with the social type. And the last one, you have conventional. So these people need a routine. They like to work with numbers, records, statistics. Um, they need a structure. Everything has to have numbers, orders, have to be systematic. They need a routine. And uh, they are very good in setting the plan and follow the plan exactly as it is. They can be sometimes rigid. Sometimes they are those saviors that everything is thanks thanks to them. Things are not falling into chaos. So um, these personalities, they like to go, they are um, they fit one to another. So usually there is like something like realistic type goes with investigative or investigative goes with artistic because if the scientist gets this artistic side of the nature, he can loosen up a little bit what he learned and invent something new. The inventors are the investigative and artistic. Now, artistic is very often social. The one who wants to save the world, make a change in the world, likes people, is very friendly. And uh, not always, but that's, that's how it goes usually because you get also the third type from this. So enterprising, the leaders are usually very social because they need to work with people. Uh, but the conventional type comes back to the first one. So this one is with practical, realistic type, mostly connected. And uh, uh, these people uh, from the another type of personality uh, related to this uh, blue, mm, blue, red, yellow, green. So if you would like to compare it to this uh, this one the social one is with the heart so they are going to be green conventional one is blue because they are in working in the office and um, uh, they are good accountants they are very straight to the point also practical ones now you have the the red ones are the enterprising the leaders come forward very active ambitious and uh, yellow ones are artistic and also investigative can be also the mixture of them. So you have all these types. You can get a test and see what fits you the best. And especially now when people have a lot of ideas or they pressurize to do something and get those um, coaching uh, from the friend that, OK, do this because I did it. It worked for me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean if something works for you, it will work for another person because it's a different structure, preferences, uh, personality. So um, when you do this test, you can uh, easily see afterwards that the same person, if you put uh, if you hire two salespeople, the one that is the type for it has the personality for it with the same environment the same people will get more success than the other one and will have also more fun joy of life and why the other one will get frustrated because maybe it's not so social maybe doesn't want to maybe wants to just do the job and go home doesn't want to be bothered by people continuously asking questions uh, like um, the one who will be a leader, natural leader, a social enterprising one. He just wants, he just will be in his zone, in the fire of it and will do everything the best. Um, it also plays a big role in the relationship because if someone, and sometimes it goes with the type artistic, I don't want to call it here like that, but if someone is a very free person in life and gets into marriage, it can cause a lot of kind of, problems. I'm not talking basically about the, the betrayals, the freedom, the romances, and because it could be also about the space, uh, how to how to make sure that this is going to work. It takes a great deal of communicating and seeing each other's needs, because if the couple and people will try to 
change the other one, change the personality. Good luck with that. Of course, it's not going to happen. So knowing your own preferences and people's preferences that you work with, you are with, uh, it would save you a lot of trouble, hopefully. Um, I wish sometimes, I wish that I could just pass it what I've learned and I heard the hard way because I was spending years on my own pushing forward and trying to do something that was completely not my thing. Even though I had all this great coaching, uh, I was under the pressure and this is the main reason why we don't follow our preferences because we think in our society we have to follow the pressure, what has to be done, the responsibility. Uh, unfortunately, our essence is not going to hear that. So um, it's better to go uh, let go of some ideas like, um, like I will give you my example, of course, like I had this great idea of, okay, maybe I can have a best selling bestseller uh, and stuff like that. And having a bestseller, if you study carefully, it doesn't mean you actually make money of it because I knew people who are having bestseller, but they never made any money from it. It just was uh, designed this way. And it's completely different approach. If you know what your goal is, it is the same thing like, you know, uh, selling the book or being best-selling author. That's completely different. Uh, so you have to really find out what is fitting you first before you go any further. And even if you know that your goal would be, um, I don't know, some of the, you want to have your own TV, your own YouTube channel, you are searching the market, you, you need to find out. And some of you have great ideas, have all material, knows what to do. But some of you write me sometimes that they just want to have a TV, but they don't have a content. They don't know what to talk about and they want other people to talk about. So basically that switches the whole uh, goal from being uh, having on TV, just possessing TV or having and make money on it, but actually not doing anything on it. So being more like a um, um, organizer of that. So being more conventional because you don't want to be show show up your face there you don't like it actually that much. So it's very good to write it down exactly what are your needs, what do you prefer? And usually it goes with the whole list when you also mark like on the scale from zero to 10, what do you like most? Or if you don't like something, is, is, is how much you don't like it? Can you still do it for a while or absolutely not? Because certain professions or certain situations in life require from us the whole package of fulfilling the task. So if you're an artist and God forbid, don't be an artist <laughs> because it's not so fun if you have to do everything yourself. But I am an artist and I did all these kind of mistakes. So I thought I can manage the promotion, the marketing, and this is totally not my thing. And if you know that, if you don't have to learn the hard way and landing in a hospital like I did, it will be a little bit easier for you because you will find another ways to deal and organize that, that someone else will do that for you. If you, of course, if you have means, because artists very often means <laughs> that they, their budget is very tight and they cannot afford it. And especially with the marketing promotion, it's a full-time job and it requires a lot of money. I'm talking about professional marketing, not just paying little ad here or there. Um, so even the publicity, it takes from 4,000 euros, 7,000 per month to get a good publicist if you want to launch your book in a conventional way, in a proper way, that's how it is done. If not, you have to let go of certain ideas if they are not for you and also accept different things like um, like I did, because it was for me at a certain point when I was sitting from nine to 12 at night in my, you know, with my computer, I could not do it anymore. So I, you need to make a certain decisions. Do you want to live your life or you want to just work it through and have nothing from it? Sure, you will sell it, you will, sh you will sell some books. Maybe you are going to have a bestseller. But is that really your goal? What does it really give you? Is this the essence of who you are? Is this 
a quality that you absolutely need in your life. It wasn't mine. If it's yours, follow that. Um, when the relationships, the same thing applies because if you know you are, you married an artist, you know what to expect if you know the profile. So instead of changing an artist, you have to find a solution if there is a point that you can go on together. If not, you have to know that, but you are going to be very frustrated if for years you're going to try to change and bend the other person to your own structure. And it goes the other way around. Knowing your preferences, you know better what you need. So if you know what you need, you can better communicate instead of waiting for the partner to, to be a fairy and guess what you wish. You can just say it, that is your absolutely need and you need to have it in order to feel safe, to, to prosper, to, to function and so on. So that was the basic, basic things, how you can, yeah, how you can start to see if you follow your, your dream, your mission, your goal in life, however you, you call it, however you design it. And um, if you have an idea that, okay, I'm going to do this. It's a great idea. Everybody do it, do it. So I'm going to do it because everybody make money on a certain thing. If you have no idea how, better do a solid research about it because it may happen that there is a lot of points you have to do along the way alone and this is not your preferences. So check exactly what it is required and how you can do it. So for example, if I work on YouTube and I have problems, I have always technical problems, I do not um, fix myself, okay, I'm going to learn now about these technical things and that one and order the program expensive, this and that. I need to find a solution that will work for me so I can feel comfortable enough so I do simple videos. Sure, if I have a team after a while, that's perfect. I welcome that. But if not, I can still rely on myself, do my best and give the content that you can learn something or you can have, give me a feedback or... Uh, or it helps sometimes something, so it's my uh, satisfaction. And I also learn something and it gives me a sort of uh, pleasure connecting to the world and knowing people, um, getting cool emails from you, cool thoughts. So this is, uh, this is my pleasure and this is my comfort that from the comfort zone, you can go a little bit further if you want to, if this is your preference. Otherwise, of course, you're going to land frustrated. So if you do not like it, everything what comes with television, writing books or however you whatever idea you have out there, think twice, do a research and see if there is a way you can go around it, that it still feels like you can do it. So, for example, you maybe have a great message to to say to people, but you don't like to go public. You don't like your face to be visible and you have options. You have podcasts. If you are technical, you will have no problem at all because you have a, as long as you have your own content and something to say to the world. Um, considering the books, um, there is, a, I was already talking about it. So please go to my previous videos about Amazon, about how to publish the publishing business on Amazon uh, and how I go about it. So I invite you there if you still didn't make it, uh, didn't uh, see that one. And my books, of course, are available on Amazon. The Oracle is publishing itself. I help it a little bit, of course, as much as I can. And um, I have also new channels. So for those of you who would like to uh, participate or get the classes that are online, I only teach now uh, one time a week uh, modern jazz for middle advanced, uh, middle advanced dancers. Uh, but... I have the full recording and if someone wants to get it, let me know about it. I will send you the link, private link, because I don't want to spread it. It's from my home. I don't want to spread it by algorithm through the internet somewhere there. So as long as you have a link, I am okay with that. And uh, you can follow the class. You can choose modern jazz, Afro jazz, body shaping with stretching and some some classes of the meditation, the basics of the visualization, breathing, Tibetan exercises, um, posture, uh, right kind of a posture, and what else? Visualization of a different, 
um, sort of energy work manifesting in a sense like feeling like a tree like a sun how is the what changes within the energy within the feeling within yourself so all of that is available on the second channel so you can subscribe if you like to the flow freely dance and this is my new channel that there will be all the links uh, for the classes if you like it so this is it for today have fun figuring out your preferences and uh, let's continue learning about selves and thank you always for your feedback bye bye